Welcome grade 8 sa ating lesson 1 for second quarter. So for our first lesson, we're going to identify linear inequalities in two variables. But before we had that, let us compare what is the difference between linear equation and linear inequalities. By definition, we discussed during the first quarter that linear equation is written or is an equation in the form ax plus by equals c. Now, if we're going to compare that to linear inequalities, pag sinabi nating linear inequalities, it is written in four different forms. So, those are, first, we have ax plus by is greater than c, or ax plus by is less than c, then we have also ax plus by is greater than or equal to c. And last is ax plus by is less than or equal to c. So to make it simple, pag sinabi natin linear equation, we are using equal sign. Or makikita nyo sa equation na siya ay merong equal sign. While in linear inequalities, Gumagamit lang tayo ng four symbols. So, you have to be familiar in these four symbols, which are the greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to. Okay, now, let us have this short activity, activity number one. Uh, you have to tell whether the following is a linear inequalities in two variables or not. So, ilalagay lang natin, siya ba ay linear inequality or Hindi. And uh, why? So, for you to answer this activity, you may pause this video and then check whether your answers are correct or not. Okay, so let us answer. So, for number 1, the given is x plus 2y is equal to 7. Is it a linear inequality or not? Okay, so number 1 is not a linear inequality. So, kung makikita natin, meron siyang equal sign. Meaning, this is a linear equation. Okay, let us have number 2. We have 4y minus 3x is greater than negative 9. So, is this a linear inequality in two variables? Yes. Since we have x and y as variable and ang ating symbol na ginamit ay greater than. Meaning, this is a linear inequality. Okay, next. 6x squared minus 2y is less than or equal to 7. Number 3 is not a linear inequality. We use inequality symbol but take note na meron tayong 2 as the exponent. And pag sinabi nating linear, we all know that the uh, linear is in first degree equation. Meaning, hindi na kaagad siya linear inequality. Okay, next, let us have given number 4. So, number 4 is 3y is less than 2, 8. Is this a linear inequality or not? Okay, so number 4 is not a linear inequality in two variables. Take note that, yes, this is a linear inequality, but this is not a linear inequality in two variables. Since yun na ang ating nasa instruction, we cannot consider this as linear inequality in two variables. Okay, last, we have number 5 y is greater than or equal to 2x minus 7. Linear inequality in two variables or not? Okay, number 5 is linear inequality. Okay, ganon din po sa number 2. Now, let us compare the two in terms of their graph. This is an example of graph of linear equation. So, ginawa na natin to before during the first quarter. Recall that 
For example, itong graph ng x plus y is equal to 5. So, we all know that uh, lahat ng points na naglalay sa line na ito ay solution sa equation which is x plus y is equal to 5. So, yun yung graph of linear equation. Now, take a look at the graph of linear inequalities. So, magkaibang magkaiba sila ng graph. First, in graph of linear inequalities, observe that we already have two different lines. So, meron na tayong dash or broken line and solid line, which is kagaya lang ng line na ginagamit natin sa linear equation. So, for our lesson number two, I'm going to discuss how to graph linear inequalities. But for now, since we are in introduction, let me explain or let me describe what is the graph of linear inequalities. So, first characteristic ng graph ng linear inequalities is that it is half plane. Okay? So, half plane kasi we already have the shaded region or shaded part which is half plane of the Cartesian. Okay, ano pa ano kaya yung shaded part na yon? Okay, for example, the first graph, this is the shaded region or shaded part. Ibig sabihin lang noon, all the points lying on this shaded region is a solution to the given linear inequalities. Okay? So yun po yung difference niya but not the points on the line. So, on our lesson, i-elaborate na lang natin siya. And then, we already have, or we also have, the given graph which uses solid line. And ganun pa rin, yung shaded part niya, meaning, yung half plane na yan, yan lahat ng solution sa given linear inequalities. Now, let us discuss the solutions to linear inequalities in two variables. So, paano ba natin masasabi na the given point is a solution to the given linear inequalities? So, when we say solution, it is an ordered pair which is written in the form x, y that produces a true statement when the values of x and y are substituted into the given inequality. So, example. Example number one. So, in this activity, we have the given inequality, 2x plus 3y is greater than 1. Ang gagawin lang natin is to tell whether the following points are solution to the given inequality na 2x plus 3y is greater than 1. So, yung mga points na gagamitin natin or itetest natin is 1, 2, 3, 0, and negative 4, negative 1. So, paano ba tayo mag -e evaluate so, given the following points, all you have to do is to substitute. So, sabi kanina sa definition, masasabi natin na siya ay solution sa linear inequality kapag nakapag-produce tayo ng true statement or tama ang statement natin based dun sa given points. So, let us have number 1. Given 1, 2, check natin kung siya ay solution sa given inequality which is 2x plus 3y is greater than 1. So, substitute na lang natin. We have 2. Then, ang, ang value ng ating x ay 1. Ang y natin ay 2. Ibig sabihin, 2 times 1 plus 3, yung y natin ay 2, is greater than 1. Now, let us simplify. 2 times 1 is 2 plus 3 times 2 is 6 is greater than 1. 2 plus 6 is 8 is greater than 1. So, this statement is automatically true since ang 8 ay greater than sa 1. Ibig sabihin nun, if the statement is true, 1 comma 2 is 1 of the solution to the given inequality which is 2x plus 3y is greater than 1. So, ganun lang po yung pag-check. Now, let us have the given in number 2 which is 3 comma 0. So, solution kaya siya. Let us simplify. So, 2 times ang value ng x natin ay 3 and y is 0. 
So, 2 times 3 plus 3 times 0 is greater than 1. Simplify. So, 2 times 3 is 6 plus 3 times 0 is 0 is greater than 1. Then, 6 plus 0 is 6. Now, 6 is greater than 1 is our statement. So, that is true pa din. So, meaning, the second point, which is 3 comma 0, is a solution to the given inequality, which is 2x plus 3y is greater than 1. Now, let us have the last given which is negative 4, comma, negative 1. So, check na natin. We have 2. Then, ang ating x ay negative 4. Ang ating y ay negative 1. So, 2 times negative 4 plus plus 3 times negative 1 is greater than 1. So, 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. Then, 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. is greater than 1. So, negative 8 plus negative 3. We have negative 11. is greater than 1. So, is this true? That negative 11 is greater than 1? No. So, that statement is false. Ibig sabihin... Negative 4 comma negative 1 is not a solution to our given inequality, which is 2x plus 3y is greater than 1. So, hindi ito kasama. Not a solution.